Hi everybody. Welcome to Ace Engineering Academy and Ace Online. This video is regarding SSC CGL 2024 notification. In this notification, there are around 17,727 vacancies. These are tentative vacancies, dear students. And in this video, we will be discussing about the important dates, eligibility criteria, syllabus and examination pattern. Okay. So, first let us discuss about the important dates, dear students. So, here Dates for submission of online application, it starts from 24th June 2024 and ends at 24th July 2024. And last date and time for receipt of online application is 24th July 2024 up to 11 pm dear students. And last date and time for making online fee payment. So online fee payment will be there. So 25 July 2024 up to 11 pm is the last date and time for online fee payment. Then dates of window for application form correction. So if there are any mistakes that were committed during online application uploading, so there is a correction window that is provided between 10th August 2024 to 11th August 2024 up to 11 pm dear students. So you can avail this opportunity. And tentative schedule of tier 1 computer based examination September to October 2024. See the examination will be conducted usually on multiple dates and multiple uh, times sometimes morning session evening session will be there okay there will be normalization of the paper okay according to the number of shifts that were conducted then tentative schedule of tier 2 computer based examination it will be in december 2024 dear students so these are the important dates now let us see what are the posts that were there. So, here you can see group B, the classification of post is group B post and pay level 7 related job opportunities you can see here dear students. So, 44,900 to 1,42,400. So, this is the pay bandwidth and here you have the number of posts under this particular category, assistant section officer in various departments. You can see Central Secretariat Services, Intelligence Bureau, Ministry of Railways, Ministry of External Affairs, AFHQ, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology like this in all departments assistant section officer is there. Then assistant section officer in other ministries, departments and organizations is also there. Then inspector of income tax, then inspector central excise, inspector preventive officer, inspector examiner. So like this in CBIC department, there are certain vacancies. Then assistant enforcement officer, so directorate of enforcement and department of revenue. Then sub inspector in central bureau of inspection, central bureau of investigation. Then inspector post in departments of post ministry of communication and finally inspector in central bureau of narcotics. So like this, there are so many positions under pay level 7. So, like this, you have pay level 6. So, the pay band here is 35,400 to 1,12,400 dear students. And here also there are certain posts. So, you can see assistant section officer, other ministries, departments and organizations, executive assistant CBIC, research assistant, national human rights commission, then divisional accountant, offices under C and AG, then sub inspector NIA, then sub inspector intelligence junior officer narcotics control bureau then junior statistical officer ministry of statistics and program implementation so here you can see the age limit for some posts it is between 18 to 30 years and for some posts it is 18 to 32 years so this is the age limit dear students then coming to the pay level 5 so here also there are certain positions like auditors and accountants and junior accountant so here the pay, bit, pay band width is 29,200 to 92,300. So here these are group C level posts dear students. So you can see here auditor in various departments like CGDA, C and AG and other ministry and departments then accountant, accountant in offices under C and AG, controller general of accountants then accountant other ministry and departments. So, the age limit here is 18 to 27 years. Then, 
pay level 4 22500 to 81100 so here this is the pay band and here also there are certain assistant level posts like tax assistant sub inspectors then postal assistant so here you can see the age limit is between 18 to 27 years and here also these posts are under group c category okay so you can see all these pay levels and what are the different posts that are there okay now let us see the scheme of examination see this ssc cgl examination has two tires tire 1 and tire 2 so coming to the tire 1 here you will have four different sections first section contains general intelligence and reasoning 25 questions will be asked for 50 marks so each question is carrying here two marks then general awareness 25 questions 50 marks then quantitative aptitude 25 questions 50 marks and english comprehension 25 questions 50 marks total 100 questions 200 marks and the time given is just 60 minutes or one hour okay then penalty for wrong answer so there is a negative marking of 0.5 marks 0.5 marks for each wrong answer dear students so this is tire 1 examination scheme okay then coming to tire 2 examination so tire 2 contains paper 1 and paper 2 okay so in paper 1 you have two sessions so here in session 1 you have section 1 and section 2 and in that you will have different modules so you can see four modules are there total so first module contains mathematical abilities reasoning and general intelligence then english language and comprehension general awareness so here you can see the number of questions so each question carries three marks dear students each question carries three marks here and up to this session one part two hours time duration will be there then coming to the session two which contains computer knowledge test 20 questions will be given 60 minutes and here the time is just 15 minutes for this part then after that you will have data entry speed test so one data entry task will be given and 15 minutes time duration will be given and you have to do that task okay i will show you what is the task that will be given shortly then coming to paper 2 statistics related questions will be there 100 questions each question carries 2 marks so 200 marks and 2 hours duration okay so this is about tire 2 examination scheme and here also the most important thing negative marking okay one mark one mark for each wrong answer in section 1 section 2 and module 1 of section 3 of paper 1 and 0.5 marks for each wrong answer in paper 2 so this is the negative marking related information of this tire 2 dear students okay so you should be very much careful with the speed and accuracy when you are solving the problems okay now let us see here paper 1 is compulsory for all the posts paper 2 will be only for those candidates who apply for the posts of junior statistical officer in the ministry of statistics and program implementation and statistical investigator grade 2 in the office of register general of india that is ministry of home affairs okay and who are shortlisted in tier 1 for these posts okay so this is the information here dear students paper 1 and paper 2 related information of tier 2 and as i told you data entry speed test usually in the shortcut form it is called DEST. So, this is a skill test, dear students. Okay. So, a passage will be given 2000 key depressions for a duration of 15 minutes. Okay. So, this is the task that will be given. So, for detailed information regarding this skill test, so what you can do is so you can go through the information about the evaluation typing test test available on the commission's new website. So, new website is there ssc.gov.in. So, in that complete information related to the skill test is given. Okay, kindly go through that so that you will be getting familiar with this activity. Then, coming to the syllabus, dear students, in tire 1, there are four different topics. First one is general intelligence and reasoning. Okay, so you can see the syllabus of general intelligence and reasoning. See, you take any examination, banking related examinations, rrb ssc so 
you will have this general intelligence and reasoning then general awareness english comprehension will be there so in general awareness you know uh, related to science social studies so most of the questions will be posted and general knowledge and current affairs also will be there in this particular part then english comprehension so fundamental understanding of english so reading speaking uh, reading and writing abilities they will be testing then quantitative aptitude so this is also well known so up to 10th standard mathematics only will be usually there in this particular part so here you can see school level algebra and elementary thirds so like these some topics are there so you can go through the detailed syllabus in the official notification dear students and accordingly you can plan your preparation then coming to tier 2 syllabus so tier 2 syllabus module 1 of session 1 of paper 1 first one is mathematical abilities so here you will have number systems fundamental arithmetic operations algebra geometry then mensuration trigonometry statistics and probability then module 2 of section 1 of paper 1 reasoning and general intelligence so here you will have analogy related things then venn diagrams then you will have semantic series, number series, like this different kinds of questions will be there, coding and decoding also is there. Then module 1 of section 2 of paper 1, English language and comprehension. So antonyms, synonyms, vocabulary, grammar, all these parts will be there in this English related syllabus. Then general awareness. So just like in tier 1, so here also up to this part, almost same topics will be there dear students slight here or there there will be some additional topics in this tier 2 paper 1 okay now coming to computer proficiency so here you will have computer basics software working with internet and emails basics of networking and cyber security okay and paper 2 so paper 1 will be over paper 2 here you will have collection, classification and presentation of statistical data, measures of central tendency, measures of dispersion, moment skewness and kurtosis. Then you will have correlation and regression, probability theory, random variable and probability distribution, sampling theory. All these are degree level syllabus dear students. So when you are preparing, so you need to prepare all these topics, statistical interference, analysis of variance, time series analysis, index numbers. Like this, this is the syllabus now coming to the essential educational qualifications as on 1 8 2024 so as on 1st august 2024 what are the qualifications that are required so junior statistical officers so for them bachelor's degree in any subject from a recognized university or institute with at least 60 percent in mathematics at 12th standard level so this is the first criteria or you have bachelor's degree in any subject with statistics as one of the subjects at degree level. So this is the qualification for junior statistical officer. Now coming to statistical investigator grade 2. So here bachelor's degree in any subject with statistics as one of the subjects from a recognized university or institute. The candidates must have studied statistics as a subject in all the three years or all the six semesters of the graduation course as i told you so in paper 2 you might have seen complete statistics which is related to the degree syllabus so that's why so the people who have in three years of their degree or six semesters of their degree statistics as a subject so they are eligible to apply for this statistical investigator grad to grade 2 post okay then research assistant in national human rights commission so for this essential qualifications bachelor's degree from a recognized university or institute then desirable qualification minimum one year research experience in any recognized university or recognized research institute and degree in law or human rights from a recognized university so this is the criteria for national human rights commission research assistant post okay then for all the other posts, bachelor's degree from recognized university or equivalent, the candidates who have appeared in their final year 
of their graduation can also apply okay the final year students who have applied or who have appeared for the examination can apply for this examination however they must possess essential qualification on or before the cut off date that is 1/8 2024 dear students okay so before this cut off date so you need to possess the required qualification that means you need to get your degree certificate okay now how to apply this is the most important thing dear students okay so sse has launched a new website which is ssc.gov.in so first you have to go to that website then you need to go for one time registration on the new website okay so remember if you have already registered in the old website also again you have to register in the new website one time registration okay this is most important thing dear students so will be required to do so as earlier what you are generated on the old website will not be functional for the new website so you need to apply for this one time registration on the new website because the otr generated on the old website will not be valid in the new website okay this is the information that is given dear students kindly go through that then for applying the candidate is not required to have a pre existing photograph of himself or herself okay so photograph so you need to have a clear background when you are taking the photograph see you need to follow the instructions related to the photograph automatically in the software itself there will be a picture capturing thing so you can directly show your face over there and there will be a rectangular box over there so within that box your face has to come and the photo will be clicked automatically through this software so try to understand this here the application module has been designed to capture a photograph of the candidate filling the application form okay so here for this purpose the candidate has to stand or sit before the camera when prompted by the application module and follow the following instructions while capturing the photograph so find a place with good light and plain background so this is the first important thing dear students then ensure the camera is at eye level before taking the photo this is the second thing then position himself directly in front of the camera and look straight ahead so this is the third point and next one ensure that his face is fully inside the red rectangular area as i told you rectangular area will be there inside that only your face should be there and that is it is neither too close or not too far it should cover the area fully and no part of the face should be outside the rectangle so try to understand this candidate shouldn't wear a cap mask or glasses or spectacles while capturing the photo okay so while capturing the photo you need to take care of all these things however for signature uploading there is certain specifications given so you have to follow that specifications the appearance of a candidate in the examination should be as per the photograph in the application form this is also an important thing dear students kindly go through these points carefully when you are applying for the examination as well as when you are appearing for the examination the candidate should ensure that the photograph captured is clear without cap spectacles and with a full frontal view applications with photographs not in accordance with the instructions are liable to be rejected okay so in no case should the candidate capture the photographs of his or her pre existing photograph usually some of the students what they will do is they will have a passport size photograph they will put that photograph in front of the camera in that rectangular box you shouldn't do that dear students okay so you need to properly give your photograph otherwise you will be subjected to rejection okay your application should be subjected to rejection here then all such applications where the photographs of his or her pre existing photograph is captured will be rejected okay so try to understand these points carefully dear students while applying okay before submitting the application form candidate must ensure that the photograph is uploaded as per the given instructions 
if the photograph is not uploaded by the candidate in the desired format application candidature will be rejected or cancelled okay so these are all important points dear students that's why i am telling you everything candidates are required to upload a scanned signature in jpeg or jpg format 10 to 20 kb only okay image dimension of the signature should be about 6 cm width and 2 cm height applications with inappropriate photographs or blurred miniature signatures not meeting the above requirements will be rejected okay so all these requirements you have to fulfill dear students okay now before submission of the online application candidate must check through preview or print option that they have filled correct details in each field of the form they should also check that photograph and signature are meeting all the above requirements candidates are advised to keep copy of the application okay so this is the last step before clicking on the submit button you you have to preview the application form okay by clicking on the preview option or print option and then go through the details carefully if there are any discrepancies there itself you edit them and again then go for submission okay then coming to the examination fee fee payable is 100 rupees only so this is 100 rupees however for women candidates and candidates belonging to sc st persons with benchmark disabilities and ex servicemen eligible for reservation are exempted from payment of fee okay so this is a good news dear students only 100 rupees is the examination fee and fee waiver is there for women candidates as well as SEST and physically challenged people okay fee can be paid online through UPI net banking or by using visa mastercard maestro or rupee debit cards okay online fee can be paid by candidates up to 25th July 2024 11 pm only okay students so this is about the information dear students now s online is offering pre-recorded lectures self-paced program for ssc je rrb je ssc cgl rrb ntpc and banking examinations see subscriptions are available for three months six months and 12 months dear students okay subscriptions are available for three months six months and 12 months so coming to the features here you can see there is ask an expert option dear students so if you get any doubt when you are listening to the lectures then you can use this ask an expert option and type your question so that the faculty member will receive the question and he will reply to your doubt okay second thing live doubt clearance sessions will be there towards the end of your course so these live doubt clearance sessions also you can avail then free online test series will be there and study materials if you want you can take them then there is no cost emi zero percent emi here okay so this is about the courses that are available however we are offering some discounts to your students ssc cgl pre-recorded course subscriptions offered are for three months six months and 12 months so you can use as 50 code so that you will get 50 percent discount up to 30th june 2024 dear students so that means around 1000 rupees the starting price you will be getting the course dear students when you have used this coupon okay so with as 50 coupon code you can get the course starting at 1000 rupees dear students depending upon the subscription option you have taken then rrb ntpc pre-recorded course three months six months and 12 months duration is there price starts from 3500 dear students and 50 percent off is there for as 50 coupon code and at around 1750 rupees you will be getting this course starting price okay then IBPS clerk prelims pre-recorded course three months six months 12 months course is available all classes are taught by experienced faculty members and there is live doubt clearance session free online test series and if you get any doubt 
there is ask an expert option immediately you can post the doubt faculty members will respond to your doubt so for this also up to 30th june 2024 so you have 50 percent of dear students so here this course you will get around at 750 rupees only dear students then coming to ibps rrb clerk prelims so the course will be launching on 26th june 2024 here also three months six months 12 months subscription is there so you can use the code ace 50 okay so and you can get 50 percent off dear students and this course the starting price may, might come at around 600 rupees only okay so you can avail these discounts dear students and you can register for any of the course that is required by you and for whatever you are preparing okay so for more details you can contact this number double seven double nine double nine double six zero two or you can mail at help at the rate ace dot online okay thank you all the best dear students